Hey guys, Dr. Dex, welcome to our rainy channel. It's summer here in Washington. Today, we're getting ready to set a big glue lamp beam in place. And there's different ways you can do this. Today, we're gonna use hydraulics. We have our machine here. It's gonna make it really easy for us, but I'm gonna go through a couple things. We've already figured out how we're gonna set this beam to elevation, but we still have to get the, the beam um, edited, modified, laid out and get it ready for installation and get it cut to length, all that stuff. So I thought I'd take you along our journey on how we do that. So we already have our footings in the ground. They're ready to go. Now that the footings are installed, we have our post heights as well. So watch a, a subsequent video we just shot about how to figure out the elevation of your post heights for your deck. Uh, it's really informative and it's something that took me years to figure out and I can teach you in merely minutes. So definitely take a look at that as well. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna install those posts that are cut to height. We're gonna put some uh, bracing on it so they don't move around. And then I'm gonna take this 15 inch, it's a five and a half by 15 inch by 23 foot glue lamb. I'm gonna cut it down to length and then I wanna put my, my layout. I already have my layout on the house of how I wanna install all my framing or my joists. And then we're gonna figure that out on this side of the beam so that I don't have to get up on a ladder and do it. And then we're gonna take our machine and we're gonna lift this beam up and put it on top of our posts. So that's the concept. I think we got this, but uh, you might as well follow along and watch us do it, right? Uh, and so if you don't have a machine to do this, your other options are a lot of people with a lot of ladders or a manual lift, a manual cranking lift. And I have one of those as well. And you may have seen that on our channel before. So you can rent a manual lift. Uh, one will lift between six and 800 pounds. We've actually used two before with some heavy steel stuff. It looks like a set of forks like this. And as you crank it, it raises this up and you put it on and then you're done. So we're lucky today. We have a machine that's gonna be able to lift this beam high enough to where we can get it set in place. And then we can kind of move it back and forth to get it square to the house, set it and forget it. So uh, that's the concept guys. So let's get going on it. I'm really excited to get this going. So uh, let's get the forks on the machine and get this thing boosted get it cut down and laid out and then get it up in the air. All right, so when they send a glue lamb, a glue lamb is an engineered beam. It's a bunch of different pieces of lumber that are glued together to give it incredible strength so we don't have to use as many posts underneath the deck. But they, they cut them with a chainsaw <laughs> to get them to you, and they're usually not square or equal on the ends. So this end is okay, but it's not perfect. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a cut with this saw here and tighten this up. But I wanted to show you the other side of what the glue lamb looks like down here and show you what the end of a factory glue lamb looks like when they make it from the factory. Even though they, when they glue it and they make it, they sand it, they put a nice edge on the bottom, the side you're gonna see, this is what the end would look like of the factory glue lamb. So obviously that's unacceptable. We need to cut this to length for one and also straight so that when we build our deck, we know what we're building to. So you can also see there's some finger joints and some of the boards here, which, you know, this stuff is engineered and mathematically structural. So to have that kind of a finger joint, there's probably so many finger joints and so many lengths and so many layers and that kind of thing. They're probably not allowed to do them on, you know, certain heights or so many and so long. I don't know what the formula is. All I know is that this beam, my engineer said this beam will span 18 feet in between posts and do a three foot cantilever on both sides. That's what I'm all about. So I'm gonna make a cut line on this side. I'm gonna measure what I need for length. I'm gonna make a cut line on this side and then I'll flip it over and then I'll cut the pieces off and then the glue lamb will be cut to length and then I've gotta do the layout on it. So let's do that. All right, so now our posts are in place and they're braced and our beam is cut to length and it's also laid out. So what we have to do now is get the beam on top of the posts with the machine 
and then we have to move it right and left so that we can square it up to the house and then we can lock it in place. Go ahead and get your end up. Now I need you on the very end of the beam. Okay, so the beam has to go this way a little bit. Put a mark under here or somewhere so you can, I, you can visually see how much we're moving the beam. All right guys, so in summary, we uh, set our piles, we set the posts, we cut them to elevation, then we set our beam, and then we, moved, we laid it out, we cut it to length, and then we set it in place. We orchestrated it right to left so that we can make sure that it was square to the house, and now we're fastening it in so we can start hanging our joists. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Over and out.